Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. And it is Wednesday and we have some changes coming in the forecast. I'm pretty excited about it because it's really the first time that we have the opportunity for some meaningful rain uh, in the forecast in seven weeks. So it's been a while. It's very dry. And uh, enough with the wind. Let's get some rain. Well, we still have to have some wind to go along with it. But let's get to the four things that you need to know about your weather. We have some showers on the way for Thursday. Very hit and miss. They're not going to amount to much. Isolated thunderstorms a possibility. Then we get a break on Friday. Make your tea time. Uh, whatever you need to do outside because it looks like it is going to be a fairly wet weekend especially on Saturday fingers crossed as I said because we need it uh, your forecast for Thursday I'm watching that cold front dropping down out of Canada we are on the far end of that system we have the chance of a little bit of light precipitation overnight but the air at the surface is so dry that I wouldn't be surprised if anything other than a rogue sprinkle or two uh, manages to reach the ground as that comes through uh, here's a closer view on our 24-hour forecast and there's that little bit of rain overnight 2 a.m. and then that clears out we start the day off tomorrow dry winds pick up a little bit and then there comes that uh, front with the showers and possible thunderstorms and again if you don't get anything uh, meaningful out of this system, although anytime you have that kind of uh, showery weather, you could have some brief heavy downpours. We have another chance of more steady rain this weekend. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 30s and 40s. High temperatures tomorrow from the 50s in North Idaho, the 60s in most of eastern Washington, and then the 70s elsewhere. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Earth Day is tomorrow, by the way. Good time for the atmosphere to wake up and celebrate. Mostly sunny on Friday, and then it looks like Saturday will be the wetter of the two weekend days showers possible on Sunday, although I think we'll get some pretty good breaks on Sunday if you do have uh, something to do outdoors and then some showers uh, off and on through the rest of the seven day forecast as we get into a more typical uh, weather pattern for spring in the inland northwest. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great week so far, and I'll see you back here tomorrow or tonight on 4 News Now Nightside at 11 o'clock.